Welcome back to Big Orange Nation. We've got an exciting show for you today. Today we're going to discuss one of the most exciting things in college football right now, and that's the Josh Heupel hyper offense. Now everybody knows how fast he runs per play. I mean, we're just one right after another, pop, pop, pop. Defenses can't keep up. But that's not everything about it. As you also know, he spreads them out. He, get, he makes gaps all over the field. And, you know, and the reason he's wanting to do that is simply because he's going to put somebody through our that's fast as a lightning bolt, and he wants to take it to the house. And today we're going to talk about those guys. The speed that he recruits, the speed that he goes after are not normal speed guys. These are all tra- track guys, some of the fastest guys in the country coming out in high school. And today we're going to discuss a few of those guys in this for this particular video. Yeah, uh, on the offensive side in particular, he, he really values speed, especially at the running back spot, uh, wide receiver spot. He wants guys who can take it the distance at just any play. So his system, you know, like we all know, it's a very fast-paced offense. It gets the defense wondering what to do, and they try to take advantage of that. A simple blink, one quick sidestep, and it's it's over. If you, when you've got guys who are running 10 5, 10 6, 10 7, 100 meter, like with some of the guys on our team. So, uh, yeah, that, that's that's the, the Josh Apple offense and, and what he does. Uh, you know, he, he gets some guys spread out, the wide receivers out on the boundaries. You get a guy who's a blazer at running back. It forces the safeties and the linebackers to play in the middle, and then that may creates mismatches on the outside, or it just makes the safeties pick their poison. Where are they going to go? Yeah, and if they pick wrong, then it's game over. Or if they pick late, you know they they may actually think, okay, make the right decision, but if they're half a second too late making that decision and getting the spot they're supposed to be. They're three yards away from where they need to be. Or they hesitate at the start of the play. Mm-hmm. Uh, if they're even, they're leaving. And that's what you, the UT receivers or the UT running backs can get you. If you're out of, uh, confused at all, well, don't be. you'll be get chance not to be confused when you're back over on the sideline and the defense coordinator is reaming you hard because you wasn't in the right spot. Because Excellent. strike up the band, baby. Right. We just scored again. Yeah, we're going to show you some clips of Jalen Hyatt versus Alabama. And you'll see that they was almost minor mistakes by the safety, especially number two for Alabama. That guy's probably not sleeping good still at night. He was torched uh, over and over and over again. Hypel saw that, saw something going into the game. And if you really watch these these plays, the guy really doesn't make that big of a mistake. The problem is we're spread out wide. You've got a guy who is very fast and Jalen Hyatt, faster than the safety. He has to make that decision what he's going to do. Yeah, Pretty it, much at the snap. It does. And if, he's, uh, if he does get beat – there's a good chance that he doesn't have help. Yeah. Uh, they can get there quick enough. In this case, it definitely he didn't. Uh, you'd almost feel sorry for him if he wasn't from, you know, Bama. Alabama. Yeah. Sure, yeah. So, I'll to try not to lose any sleep on that. Yeah. God knows he probably has. Yeah. If you watch Heupel's offense, they, he really does try to single mismatch up with the slot guy with a safety. And we all know most safeties, I mean, they're running, you know, four, four, five, four, five at best, you know. Yeah, they're not going to be the fastest, fastest guys. guys. They're more for run yeah. support. But uh, Even in Alabama, they recruits like no other outside of Georgia and Ohio State, you know, they, the safeties are not going to keep up with some of these guys that, that a high ball goes after. Sure. In the – at at the offensive positions. Yeah. Uh, Let's touch on some of the guys that Typel's actually recruited and some that was already on the team and some he's recruited. Uh, That's really 
world class kind of guys at, at speed. I mean, Squirrel White, he, he was a freshman last year. I really believe he's going to light it up this year. I think talent wise, my personal opinion, I think he's more talented than Jalen Hyatt, the guy that won the Blentnikoff Award. That's my opinion. Well, it could be. His biggest thing, you know, we wondered if he was even going to get on the field last year because he was so small when he yeah. got here. His speed was undeniable, uh, fast as a, as a cat, you know. And I fast as a squirrel. Yeah, fast as a squirrel. And he was. Uh, and I didn't expect, a lot of people didn't expect him to get on the field because of how slight he was. Yeah. But Hopple, he saw the speed, and he says, we're going to get you on the field somewhere. And he, he made a few plays for squirrel. Yeah. Um, of course, by the end of the year, it wasn't just a few plays. It, it was in the rotation pretty solid. Yeah. And in the bowl game, he had 10 catches. So, Yeah, I think Squirrel will be a little different than Jalen. Jalen's more of a straight line kind of guy. I mean, he's he's bigger, quite a bit bigger than, than Squirrel White. But I don't think Squirrel's got more wiggle. And I think yeah. he might get used a little differently at times yeah. than what Jalen was. Well, Hubble's good for that. He'll... Uh, he'll use each player's uh, specific sk- skill set. Unlike a lot of coaches, that always you always hear them say, "Oh, we we dictate our offense or personnel." In reality, they seldom do, yeah. or not to the degree that they always talk it up. Apple actually seems to put a little uh, work into doing that. Yeah, most places recruit to the system. And and Heupel does that, yeah, definitely. But, does. but he will uh, adapt the system to the player, and that's one of his strengths as a coach. Uh, let's look at some of these times for some of these guys. Squirrel right, what? Ten six eight, hundred meter time. Dante Thornton, eleven oh two, hundred meter time. Jordan Matthews on defense, another really fast guy. Ten six six, hundred meter. Jalen Wright, ten eighty five. Cam Seldon, a running back, uh, a guy who I'm extremely high on. Yeah, uh, may not do be. a whole lot this year, but um, he's the perfect guy for Hypo system. He really we'll is. touch on that a little later. He ran a 10.74 in high school. Dylan Sampson, everybody's familiar with him, 10.66. Uh, and Nathan Leacock, a wide receiver, a 10.98. Another sub for 11. Second, and he's continued to recruit speed speed uh, guys with uh, Peyton Lewis, a high school recruit that committed here fairly recently. He ran as low as a ten five hundred yeah. meter. And, and let me say at the ten five, how fast that is. Uh, that was his junior time, and earlier this year, he won a. He was part of three state state champions championships this year, and he actually had a much worse time. Like a ten eight seven or something to that yeah. effect, and he still won the hundred meters, along with the two hundred meters, and being the uh, the leg on the uh, four by one hundred hundred yeah. meter race. So you know, it's like I said, even at a much slower time yeah. at ten eight seven, he still won his state. Not bad. So at ten five as a junior, I mean, there's blazing, and then there's then there's Peyton Lewis, yeah. fastest run back recruit in the country this year. Uh, De- decent size too. I mean, bigger than you would really like. Yeah. yeah, he's pushing uh, about six foot one ninety. Yeah, I think like actually, that. I think something said he might be closer to two hundred now. Maybe. Oh, great! It looked pretty thick, and I seen in the um, some profile pics yeah. lately. Actually, runs a little uh, stronger than I expected. Yeah, um, I'm excited to see him. Yeah. All right, now these guys right here. Let's take them, split them up a little bit between wide receivers and the running backs. I mean, obviously, every team wants at least one guy that can take the top off the defense to back those safeties up. Um, Heupel, just the ones we talked about right now, uh, Squirrel White, Dante Thornton, uh, Nathan Laycock, has three guys that can totally rip the top off of the defense. Yeah. We've seen Romel Keaton take the top off the defense, and he'll be the, considered the slow guy in this group. Sure. Uh, but, yeah, he will take these guys, and he will – make those safeties back well let me uh, not say those words they're going to back that defense up that's true. I had to watch my language a little bit there Bob because I get a little excited about thinking about all those wide receivers just streaming downfield that we saw Hyatt and some other guys do last year but you know this isn't really all 
that we're looking at in the Hybels fast pace offense. It just isn't the speedy, fast, quick wide receivers that make this offense go because we actually run the ball more than we pass it. We really do. Our, our running stats are very good. Um, Right at the top of the country, really. Uh, and we, we really love those really fast guys in there. That way we, we can really make the defense pay when they don't play us honest at the line of scrimmage. If you'll notice, watch us play a lot of times. Um, the posting defense will kind of um, – Well, they'll cheat on the – and their defensive backfield try to get extra people back there, pull somebody out of the box. Yeah, then that's when we're going to run the ball. You know, we get they get nickel, play nickel defense, we're going to run. If they want to put seven in the box, we'll throw. If you really watch the game and watch what the defense has lined up, it'll pretty much tell you what we're about to do. Yes. Score. Oh, yeah, score, yeah. We'll beat you in the air like we did with Bama, with Hyatt, or it's like Vandy, we can run for 60, 70, 80 yard runs. Yeah. I mean, we'll see you, more of that this year, too, I believe. I, I believe so, yeah. We're going to see a lot more long home run uh, in, the, in the rushing game. Yeah, I do, too. I, I, I'm really excited about that. And, you know, I, this offense is just really fun to watch. And knowing that we're, we've increased our speed so much, I mean, it went just a few years ago. We was really a slow team. I mean, yeah, we, we looked like a, a, a old wore out racehorse on a muddy track. We just sloshed through there. It was just mucking it up, and now we look like a a, a blur in multiple yeah. positions. I mean, it really was. We had uh, Conference USA type speed, and that's not gonna cut it in the power, you know, Power Five SEC conference. You're going to need elite level guys. Well, sometimes you got to get a cheap touchdown. This is all well, that's true. That's true. Sometimes yeah. you got to get lucky and, and sneak one. Yeah, that's true. And and nobody does it better than Hypo. Yeah, he makes you make a lot of mistakes every game. He gets people open. Um, you know, you're talking about your running backs again, Bob. You know, Wright and uh, Small will be our workhorses probably this year. But we expect to see Samson. And then get you know he's very very fast, uh, one of the fa- easily one of the fastest guys on the team. We're going to see more of him. But Bob, I am a little excited about this one guy because of not just he can do both. And uh, well, I know you really love him, so I'm going to let you talk about Cam Seldon. Oh yeah, this is a guy who I think you know I I'm going to pump him up a little bit there too much probably. No, you ain't. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> but this guy, I think, is going to be a, a, a future college All-American type guy. That's how good I think he's going to be. I think he, you're going to see a little bit of him this year, uh, even as deep as we are at running back. I think you're going to see maybe some created plays, some gimmick plays. Well, like they did with Scorer Watt last year when they saw his talent. They made a few plays for him, even though there really wasn't a, a rotation spot open. Yeah. They made a few. I think he's the most talented running back uh, on the team currently. And, you know, like I said, this year a little bit. Next year, I think, in the fall, in his junior year, that's when I think you'll see him light it up. But the guy is equally as good as a wide out as he is running back. And that's, again, that's the hypo thing. Yeah. Mismatches. Well, you know, with his speed of offense, everybody knows, he doesn't let the defense substitute. He likes to dictate what's going on. And if he catches you in the wrong personnel, he will beat you with the wide receivers. Yeah. He'll beat you with the running backs. With Cam Seldon, he gets you out there. He can move Cam in from the tailback spot out to the wide receiver spot. He can just take him out of the backfield. Uh, it's like the ultimate little chess piece for Heibel. and uh, He basically has another queen on the field. Yes. And, you know, that's – it's, it's, Everybody else is playing with uh, pawns, and he's got the rooks and, and, and queens and leaving you in the dust, and Seldon is that queen. Yeah, I, I think he's going to be an ultimate mismatch. Like Tim said, you know, if you go nickel, he's going to put him at running back and run him. If you go uh, base, you know, 
three four type defense. He's gonna put him at wide receiver. Yeah. And, and throw it to him. Yeah. And, and you know, you you get a linebacker against a guy who can run a ten seven four. Yeah. Well, you know what that spells. Crank up Rocky Top. Crank up Rocky Top. Going to use a lot of fireworks when Seldon's in the game. That's right. Yeah. So, anyway, I think that's about it for this episode. But, uh, you know, just to reiterate a little bit off the top, uh, lightning does strike twice and sometimes a whole lot more. And we're going to see a lot of it in Rocky Top this year. Neyland Stadium is going to use more fireworks than Disney World. So, yeah. So, signing off to the next episode, go Big Orange and fire up Rocky Top. Bob, like and subscribe, comment, guys. We'll see you next time.